My name is Jersey Joel. I've lived in New Jersey my entire life. I love fishing and the outdoors. I love catching big fish, small fish, and multi-species. New Jersey offers a great variety of fishing for all types of anglers. With the many lakes, ponds, rivers, streams, creeks, reservoirs, and the Atlantic Ocean not far away, the sky is the limit when it comes to New Jersey fishing. If you love fishing and the outdoors and nature as much as I do, then subscribe to my channel and come along with me on my fishing adventures. I hope you enjoy the ride. Hey, what's up guys? Jersey Joel Fishing here. Hope everyone has a great day today. The date is March 19th, 2024. I'm gonna go fish a mountain creek that I found on Google Maps about a month and a half ago. I fished it last month, but it was very cold. There was a lot of snow on the ground, so I didn't catch anything. The conditions weren't right. It was just very cold and snowy, like I said. Now that the water temperature has warmed up a little bit, we had some warm weather a couple weeks ago. I wanna hit that mountain brook and see if I can catch some fish. There's gotta be some trout and some other species in there. I never even knew that creek was there. I found it on Google Maps. I'm gonna head over there, throw a couple different baits and see if we can get some fish. I love exploring, I love creek fishing. It's always fun, cause you never know what you're gonna catch. So let me head over to the spot and I'll talk to you guys when I get there. Pretty cold morning. We just had some snow last night. Just a little bit, a little dusting. This mountain brook looks really good. I was here about a month ago and it was just too cold. We had like a foot of snow on the ground, no bites. Now it's been warmer the last couple of weeks, even though it's cold again now. Let's see if there's any trout in here that want to bite. This is not stocked. This is a natural brook coming down from the mountain. So I found this on Google Maps. I'm determined to catch some fish in here. It looks really good. I'm gonna throw a little piece of worm, maybe a wet fly nymph, and we'll see if we can get some fish here this morning. Like I said, the first time I was here, I didn't get anything. Real, real beautiful area though. Looks amazing. There's gotta be a hungry fish hiding in here. Let me throw a little piece of worm and see if something bites it. Awesome looking spot. All right, here we go, first cast. It's gotta be fish in here. One minute, 37 seconds later. Got one. Oh, I had one. First bite, guys, I had one. Felt like a nice fish, too. Let's see if he bites again. This looks really good over here, under that rock.
Oh, this looks deadly. It's got to be a fish in here. Looks pretty good. Nice big pool over here with a little brook coming in. This looks like a perfect spot. I gotta get one in here. A few moments later. Got one. Ah. Lost it. I think that was a brookie. I lost it. Fell out of my hand. That's all right. Maybe there's more in here. They're frisky and they're small. I think that was a native brookie. Well, that's it. I'm out of time for this morning. I'll come back tomorrow. Would I have five bites? I lost a couple brookies at the bank. I think they were brookies. I knew there had to be some native trout in here. Didn't even know this brook was here. I'll be back tomorrow, see if I can land one. It was a good hour and a half here exploring more of this brook. Had a lot of fun. Early the next morning. All right, I went way downstream. I'm gonna try a couple more pools. I haven't fished yet. This brook has a very long stretch, so there's a lot of pools in here. I want to see if I can explore and fish as many of them as I can. This looks like an awesome spot. There's a lot of structure. There's a nice hole over here. The water gets a little calmer. Let's try here first. And then I'll try a, and then I'll try a couple pools below. Just gonna let the worm sit there, see if a fish takes it. Five minutes later. Got out. I had him. I had him, he got out. He came out of the net. I had one, that was definitely a brookie. Oh well, I had him. 
He came, he swam out of the net. That's all right. Hopefully I get another one. All right, let me try this hole again. One minute, 37 seconds later. Got one. I got one, wow. Big brookie, guys. I got them. That's a big brookie. They don't get that big, native brookies. Beautiful, all right. Lost about five, finally landed this one, yes. Gotta be very gentle with this fish. They're very sensitive. Gonna keep them in the net, wet my hands, get a photo, and I'll show you guys the release. Yes. Beautiful native brook trout, guys. Beautiful, beautiful colors. Look at that fish. It's a really good size one too. Like I said, they don't get that big. All right, I'll show you guys the release. All right, I haven't done this in a while, but this is definitely worthy. I'm gonna show you guys an underwater release of this native New Jersey brook trout. I had him in the net for a minute or two. He's ready to go. Beautiful fish. All right, here we go. I'll see you later, buddy. He's gone. Not sure how good the camera caught it. We'll find out. Awesome. All right, I'm not sure how good that underwater release came out of that brook trout. That was probably one of the biggest native brook trout I've ever caught. They don't get that big. That was a big one. Finally landed one. I lost about five. It's been a fun adventure these last couple days fishing this mountain brook. Let's keep fishing and see if we can get another one. That was awesome. Let's see how many hungry ones are in here. Well, I had one more bite. I think I'm gonna call it. I've been here for about an hour and a half, two hours. I lost about three fish this morning, landed one, that big one. And then I lost about five yesterday. It was a lot of fun exploring this mountain creek. I'll definitely be back. Well guys, that's gonna be a wrap for this video. It was a fun couple days of fishing, exploring that mountain brook. A spot that I went to last month but didn't catch anything. I went up and downstream. I fished a lot of different pools. I had a feeling I would catch some fish now that the water temperature is a little bit warmer. And I can't believe I caught my biggest New Jersey native brook trout. 
There's a few brook trout in there. I landed one. I lost a couple more on my feet. They're very frisky, very squirmy. Beautiful fish. The only true native trout species in New Jersey. I'm definitely going to go back to that brook. It's a beautiful mountain brook. Native trout need cold water, clean water, and a lot of oxygen. That brook has a lot of current, a lot of fast-moving water, and a lot of pools. That's why I'm not surprised that there were some native brook trout in there. It was a fun couple days of fishing, and I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I'll talk to you in the next one. Have a good one, guys.